Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on numericals on fragmentation. Actually, in my previous video lectures, I have two exclusively sessions on fragmentation, that is examples on fragmentation. So there, what exactly you have learnt is, when a datagram is fragmented, those fragmented, okay, those fragments, what values, how are you going to place the values on uh, into the different fields of that IP uh, header, okay, uh, related to fragmentation. That actually you have learnt in those two sessions. Now, there are simpler examples also, simpler numericals that can be asked on fragmentation. So, what type of questions can be asked? Simpler questions like for one or two marks basically. So, those type of questions I have included in this session. Uh, like I can tell uh, around about four to five questions related to this can be included in this session. The question number one. So, all questions are related to fragmentation only. But these are different from the one which you have learnt in those two video lectures. Here, only you are going to give the answer with respect to the uh, more bit of what? More bit of the fragmentation. So, before I start explaining you the question and how to solve it, I will just try to make uh, you recall that in IP header, so it is like repetition there I have told very clearly the explanation in detail, but still I just tell, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about only those two fields here. You have under the flag fields, these two fields D and DM. D stands for do not fragment, okay, do not fragment and M stands for more fragment. So, these are the two flags you have seen in the header of IPv4. Now, in do not fragment, you have what two possible values because it is a flag field, you will have either 1 or 0. That means the field D will be either 1 or it can be 0. When D is 1, it means do not fragment. The packet should not get fragmented. Okay. If D is 0, the packet can be fragmented. Packet can be fragmented. Now, only when D is 0, the packet can be fragmented. Then only this M will come into picture. So, this M more fragment will have what? Will have two values. One is 0 and another is 1. Once again. So, I will just tell you about the M bit here once again. M will have two values, okay, 0 or 1. 0 of M bit, okay, indicates what? 0 of M bit indicates that is the only fragment or it can be the last fragment, only or last, okay. Whereas, if the value of M bit is set to 1, it indicates what? It can be the first fragment or the middle fragment. So, normally, when a question is asked and you have a very less time to think in these directions from starting from do not fragment to more fragment you i have uh, like you can make a table like this and remember the concept it is a simple concept you can remember in this manner also but i have brought that concept into a table format because in the question it is not just with respect to the more bit uh, offset bit information will also be included in the question that's the reason better you remember like this okay i have included three column headings what will be the offset what will be the more bit what will be the position of the fragment so remember in this manner if the more bit is zero and the offset value is zero that is the only fragment okay that means the datagram is not fragmented if m bit is one and if the offset value is zero it is the first fragment if m bit is one and if the offset is non-zero then it is the middle fragment if the m bit is 0 and the offset is non zero it is the last fragment so here you are writing in binary 0 1 1 0 here you are writing 0 non zero this this can be the numbers because you know that whatever is the byte number in the fragment if that is getting divided by 8 you will get the offset value so determine whether the fragment is the first fragment or the middle fragment or the last fragment or it is the only fragment so you are ask they are asking you whether if given is this information, whether the fragment is first, middle, last or only fragment. If M bit is set to 1 and the value of the offset field is 0. If M bit is set to 1 and the offset value is 0. So, that means the question number 1 is related to the second row. Definitely, isn't it? More bit is set to 1. Fine. And the value of the offset field is 0. When the offset field is 0, it indicates what? No bytes are sent previous to that fragment, no? So, that's why it becomes the first fragment. So, you can write down the solution as this is the first fragment. 
second question is if m bit is set to 1 and the value of the offset field is non zero if m bit is set to 1 and the offset field is non zero so they are asking you about this third row information so here what is the fragment it is the middle fragment so definitely m bit set to 1 indicates what the packet is fragmented first thing is that you should know and second part is now when the packet is fragmented whether the uh, fragment is the first middle or the last that you need to determine so there is no question of first because in that uh, first always what the offset field will be zero here it is non zero so only two options are left which are those either it can be the middle fragment or it can be the last fragment so in the last fragment also what will happen no m bit will be zero so your answer will be what the position of the fragment that is it is the middle fragment here so this is the middle fragment in the third question they have asked if m bit is set to zero see the the question is uh, stopping it here it, it at here itself so if m bit is set to zero that means you have two possibilities m bit set to zero m bit set to zero now how to determine whether the fragment is the first middle last or only fragment so for this you can write the solution if m bit is zero the fragment whether it is first whether it is the only fragment or it is the last fragment cannot be decided because it can be first of all it can be only fragment or it can be the last fragment fine these two possibilities are there it can be the only fragment or the last fragment but how to decide only or last fragment you can write in the solution uh, to decide whether it is the only fragment or the last fragment offset value is needed so these are very simple questions so this way i have covered all possibilities of m bit and the offset value and you can decide uh, it is not so difficult also no need for the table you can remember because the concept is very simple now here normally see in the fragment fragmented packet if you remember please recall those fields the last field you were writing what the range of bytes isn't it suppose if it was like a, okay let us take the first byte number is 1200 and it is ending at 1399 something like this the range of bytes were given in the last field so this range of bytes what is the first byte number what is the last byte number this type of questions can be asked once again these are just uh, two or three marks questions but to find out the first byte number or the last byte number in the range there will be certain other uh, parameter values given so with those values you can find out so how to find out using the given values i shall explain to you in this session the question states that a packet has arrived in which the offset value is 300 see what is given you just first note down offset value is given in the question and the offset value is 300 the payload size is 100 bytes also given is what the payload size which is how much 100 bytes you are asked to find out what are the number of the first byte and the last byte see this is what i said so the range of bytes are there in the fragment you are supposed to find out the first byte number and the last byte number so with these two given values offset and the payload size will you be able to find out the first byte and the last byte number let us see first thing is what you can do is using this offset value 300 see offset value in order to get a byte number you will multiply the offset by 8 because it is measured in units of 8 bytes remember many of my this one in most of my video lectures whenever i'm explaining related to fragmentation i have been telling offset is measured in terms of 8 bytes only okay the unit of measurement for offset is 8 bytes so when you when the offset value is given as 300 you simply multiply by 8 okay when you multiply by 8 you will get 2400 so if you recall that field values that were placed for the fragmentation whatever is the offset value when you multiply by 8 you actually are going to get the first byte number in that fragment isn't it so here it means what now in this fragment you got what the first fright byte number 2400 but you don't know the last byte number but look here the payload size is there that will help you in giving out the last byte number payload size is what actually the data isn't it so the data is how much they are saying 100 bytes now you are having 2500 when you add 100 bytes okay that means it is 2500 
isn't it? 2500. Your first byte number is uh, starting with 2400. When you add 100 bytes of data, it becomes what? 2499, isn't it? Because see, if you start from 2401 and then you can say your last byte number will be 2500, isn't it? But here, what is that you are doing? You are starting with 2400. That's why the last byte number will be 2499. So, this way, this is our very simple only. So, you can write down what are the number. So, you can write down the first byte number is, first byte number is 2400 and the last byte number is 2499 because because of what 100 bytes of data because that particular fragment carries only 100 bytes of data first fragment number is 2400 and the last fragment number will be obviously 2499 next type of question a packet has arrived in which the offset value is 300 so here they have given offset value as 300 okay payload size is 100 bytes so this question seems to be the same thing as what I have written. So, let me just change the question here. The second question is also same like the first one. So, a packet. The second type of question that can be asked is a packet has arrived in which the offset value is 100. What is that they have given in the problem? Offset value is mentioned. How much it is? Offset is 100. Okay. Header length value is given. That means this header length is a field in IPv4. Its value is given as 5. And the value of the total field is total field value is there no in IPv4. Even that value is given as 100 bytes. So, you are supposed to find out what the first and the last byte number. So, once again, I'll just make this job very simpler. This question is what regarding one fragment. Fragment has got certain number of bytes. So, you are writing the first byte number and the last byte number that is the range of bytes will be there in the uh, fragment uh, field. Now, when you are writing the range of bytes, first byte and the last byte, how to determine is. So, this part you have learnt in the previous problem also when the offset value is given multiply by 8 so you will get what always the first byte number whatever is the offset value when you multiply by 8 you will get the first byte number so in this case the first byte number is 800 so these are all different fields i'm just writing about what the first byte number is 800 now 800 to to where to which last that is the last byte number you need to determine Header length is 5. See, in order to find out actually very simple, to find out the last byte number, you need what? The payload size, which was given in the previous problem. Payload or you can call it as data anything. But that is not given here. Instead, they have given header length and total field. But these two will also help us because you know that total length is always how much? Total length equal to header length plus the payload or data, anything. So, when you use this formula total length is given as how much 100 bytes header length is given as 5 but here you need to be more careful because you have to use for header length multiply by 4 isn't it because the 4 bits are meant for what 4 bits are meant for the header length value and here the value that is given in this particular header length is decimal and since you need to get the actual value of the header length you need to use the multiply by 4 method so that's why i said no for similar to offset the unit of measurement for offset is 8 bytes the unit of measurement for the header length is 4 bytes so you can write down 5 into 4 plus what payload so 100 equal to 5 into 4 20 plus payload fine now you can easily find out payload remember payload and data means one and the same so i'm just writing in bracket data also payload equal to 100 minus 20 which is equal to how much 80 so 80 is what 80 is the size of the data here and the first number is 800 fine 
and the first number is 800 and the size of the data is 80 then you are starting from 800 so it will end at what 879 you can write here in the solution first byte number is 800 last byte number is 879 so this is how you need to solve these are very simple problems so or totally like uh, regarding uh, with respect to m bit offset and total length header length payload so all this how it is related if you remember you can carry out any numerical that is given on fragmentation hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care